Come on! Come on, turn it down! Oh, I missed it! I missed it! I missed it! I missed it! Oh god, I missed it! Oh god, I missed it! I missed it! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me. Rocky X is coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved from the Sons of Anarchy with the K Primitive Plus server. That's right, it's still a thing. A bunch of you guys have really been asking for me to get back to this, and it's just with all the extinction stuff going on, I really haven't really had a chance to get back and, and concentrate on this. Now, I have played, obviously, you can see, I've played some um, and not recorded just to try and get some stuff done, but it's been a whole thing. Like, Primitive Plus, hmm. <laughs> It's a whole thing. I'm not going to say it's broken because I don't maybe, well, maybe it's broken, but it's not, it's not like super broken. It is playable. There's just, it's got some issues. So here, <laughs> thank you. Um, this took me an eternity and, and a, oh God, I never finished this side and a whole ton of mats to do. Um, but basically this is, I think it's probably going to be a little deeper. Even I'm probably going to take that tree out and go back a little bit, but this is the, um, this is the foundation for my. Rocky Manor. Ooh, that's the only way I could get it flat. It's going to have a little bit of a ramp, maybe like a tiered ramp system down. Check out that entrance way. Oh my gosh. Because that's what you normally you want to do. You want to start with the door <laughs> and then figure out your house from there. You know what I mean? So let me give you guys the tour real quick. This is the thing. So there's all these cool new materials and stuff that you can build with in Primitive Plus. Uh, and so what I did is I went with a uh, brick ceiling. It's called a brick ceiling. I think it's actually like cement ceiling and then the front part is bricks and these are brick gateways and all that kind of crap right okay so the brick ceiling this was I, this is where i went through most of my mats this is actually made from cement and for the cement what you got to do is let me not forget this dude or i'm stranded you've got to come over to the cement this primitive plus everything is like 20 steps you come over to the cement maker and it's uh cementing paste and limestone okay no big deal right like that's super easy to do so I made a bunch of those. The biggest thing has been like when I was placing them, because obviously this is, and I can show you, I'm just running all over the place. Guys, this is, I'm, excuse me, I'm running all over the place because I'm trying to get you guys caught up. You can see under here, this is all pillars. So I've got a ton of pillars under there. But the, the problem had been uh, trying to place it without like the little nipples poking through. You know what I mean? Like you, <laughs> you guys understand what I'm talking about. You guys have built an arc, so you understand what I'm talking about when you place the pillars. You try not to get like the little nipples poking through. So like it was a whole thing and I went through a whole bunch. Now, luckily, uh, the very last part of this that I was building it, uh, you know, Primitive Plus does have it implemented where Arc uh, kind of integrated the S plus feature where you can pick up structures within the first 30 seconds that you place them. So I went through fewer towards the end. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to have all these nipples poking out through my floor. Got me messed up. You think my floor is going to run around here looking like jennifer aniston and friends but yeah so we've got the cement floor right that's all laid down we've got the whole brick front that's all laid down and like i said i'm gonna have some kind of like little ramp system to go up there so the brick stuff it's like okay how hard can that be right because i gather stuff called clay so i thought okay so you just throw the clay in the um uh i want to say furnace what the heck is that thing called um you know the 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 refining forge Okay, no, that's not how you do it. Because what you got to do, let's go way over here. <laughs> let's go over here to the working base right now. Is you've got to take that clay and you've got to get some more limestone and you got to put that crap into the freaking hand mill. And then in the hand mill, you can buy the, the clay stone and the limestone to make clay. And then you take the clay and you take the clay, way the crap over back over here because I like to spread things out as far as possible on a bird that has roughly 200 pounds weight. And then fly it right here. And then you, um, um, I thought I had a refining forge over here. I guess I was doing it all over there. <laughs> then you make the bricks over there. Okay. And then you bring the bricks back over here. It's a whole daggum thing. Okay. But I got it. I got that much done. So I'm really excited. I have something that really cool planned. It's not, it's, I want to tell you guys, but then you guys are going to make fun of me when it doesn't come out looking like how I want it to look like. But what I have planned is, have you guys seen, um, the Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. If you guys have not seen The Haunting of Hill House, I can't even talk, on 
Netflix. It's a mouthful. Uh, go watch The Haunting of Hill House on Netflix. It is an awesome freaking show, especially if you like scary movies. Uh, it's, it's I can't even, I can't even, we can't get into it, but it's amazing. Definitely go see it. I want to make something that resembles that house. Now, obviously, I don't have S+. Plus, I don't have any of that stuff, so it's going to be really tough to do that. But that's like my building theme that I want to kind of make this look like. So we'll see how that goes. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one on the server anymore. So it's just going to be me and you guys. And this may end up being kind of a mini series because, like I said, Primitive Plus is a little bit broken. But we are going to continue with it and we're going to get some stuff done. Now, after all my building and replacing things and yada, 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 I really want to go tame something because I haven't tamed anything in a while. But at the same time, I want to check out some new weapons. So I think I put everything in here to be able to make a recurve bow, which is like the final bow. Um, I'm pretty sure in the primitive plus thing. Let's just go ahead and make this. And hopefully this shoots. I made a whole bunch of stone arrows in anticipation of being able to build this. So hopefully this thing is pretty beastly. I don't know if it's going to hit any harder for taming purposes than the crossbow will. Go ahead and put you right there, buddy. And not only that, I also want to check out a melee weapon. Uh, I think maybe I learned it. I don't think I did. Then do I even make it here? No. Oh, God. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to go in order of, of the melee weapons that it has. So it's going to start with the battle axe. The battle axe, <laughs> of course, in Primitive Plus fashion, takes the grindstone. I don't have a grindstone. So now i got to make a grindstone. To make a grindstone, you need 40 wood. Oh, no, 40 stone and 30 wood. i got to make it on the construction table. Stone and wood. Okay, I should be able to make it here. Uh, ba bam grindstone let this finish out and then I'll probably just throw it down outside because that seems like a good place to put it please don't require a foundation fantastic you can go right there buddy now I make the axe on you okay 10 leather 35 I know I have all that 10 leather the plow the plow 35 steel ingot 5 wood 35 steel ingot, I believe, would be here. We'll just take all that, and then we'll take all that if I can carry it. Fan flipping test. This better be super amazing. Ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-blam. Let's check it out. I'm going to feel nice and safe. That's what, I haven't felt safe. That's the thing. Especially in the redwoods with all the micro raptors. How cool do I look? Oh, I was kind of thinking this was going to be like a big, like, two-handed axe. Oh, and also, so I'm sure that, that getting, you know, we talked about how you got to have claystone and limestone and all that kind of stuff, and which I wonder how this harvest. Pretty much just stone. So I'm sure that having a dodic or an anki would probably make that a lot easier. I'm not sure on that. Hopefully that gets those specialized things. But at first, for the longest time, I was grinding these stones out with the regular pickaxe here. As you can see, like, okay, two hits, I got one claystone. Well, they have what's called an obsidian pickaxe, which is this bad boy right here that I made. And it's for getting more of the specialized stuff. So one hit, I'm going to end up with 16 claystone. You see what I'm saying? So uh, the other thing is the limestone and stuff all comes from like the metal ingots, which I have a ton of up there. But luckily, I only have a pteranodon. It only carries sort of weight, so it's been the whole thing. <laughs> but luckily, I figured out this obsidian pickaxe, and it did make life a little bit easier. I would go out and get a, uh, where was this stuff? There we go. I would go out and get like an Anki or a Dodic, but I, I want something with teeth. I think I want to get something that I can feel a little safer on. Maybe a dire bear. Maybe like, I say, okay, I said teeth. But also I would settle for the Xenosaur. But like top of my list would be if we could find a really good Argentavis. Even a Thyla. I think I'd be happy with a Thyla. And I know that I can get Prime. So let's go ahead, go out there, check out this. Uh, what is this thing called again? <laughs> the recurve bow. Let's check out the recurve bow. Let's check out the axe. And then let's tame us something amazing. Okie dokie, let's try out this recurve bow. I want to, oh gosh, it's getting farther away. I want to test it out on a Carno. I was kind of thinking, so you know the the um, obsidian pickaxe we were talking about? It says how it kind of helps you get more of the rarer resources. Do you think that it's going to help you get more prime meat? Oh, there, I could go for that paracer. That'd be even better. Um, you think it would help you get more prime meat versus regular meat? Also, like, I'm freezing, like, all the time. I don't know what the deal is. I've been checking these dire bears because that one. Oh, that one would be perfect. Where did it go? It looked like it was sinking into the ground. Dire bear? We already know we've had. Oh, there it is right there. That's you, right? Are you you? 145? <laughs> That's the one I want, but I don't know why it's sinking into the ground. Okay, 
Let's try out this recurve bow against the bracer and then oh no Why are you up here cuz I was gonna land up here and shoot the bracer uh, Okay, let's do this. Let's kite you off. Oh, you're kind of a weird color. Come here, buddy This away, please. Also, it'd be fantastic if I did not run out of stamina All right, let's see what this thing hits with with these specialized arrows these uh feathered arrows Hopefully it's a little bit uh, do I even have those equipped? Good clail! <clears throat> oh, 75. I honestly don't remember what the other one hit for. Wait, I'm not even using the right bow. This is the non-recurve bow, right? And then this would be the recurve bow with regular arrows. Oh, God, that's already way better. Please don't climb up here. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that did not work out as I had foreseen it working out. Maybe I can just go back and forth. Dad gum it. All right. Um, this way. We'll get you down a steeper part. Fantastic. Fantastic. Which one is the recurve bow? You, right? Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to try out. So the other one was doing 75 with these stone arrows. Where did he go? There he is. This one uh apparently won't won't draw back, so that's pretty pretty neat. Oh, dang it, man. Kind of a cool looking bow. Here we go. Here we go. What? 75 versus what? Why? Hold on. Recurve bow. It's got the feathered arrows in it. <laughs> Let's hit it for 60. Let's go to the primitive longbow. And the primitive longbow goes 75. I wonder if they're for different... What am I even trying to say? Different purposes. Like, maybe the recurve is more for taming things? Since it doesn't... It is hard, except for Torpor is... Can you please? Except for Torpor is based off of melee, right? So I don't even understand. Huh. But what... It was hitting harder with the... This hits harder with the regular arrows than the longbow does with the... Can you please load it? Than the longbow does with the feathered ones? Is that a thing? I want to try and hit you not in the face. I don't remember if you have a headshot multiplier. No. Okay. So, yeah, these hit harder with the regular arrows <laughs> than the other one did with the feathered. I don't even understand. Why would the feathered arrows not hit as hard as these ones when they're supposed to be an upgraded vert? I don't understand. But what I do understand is I'm about to kill this thing and get it sweet, sweet prime. All right, dead. Dead as a doornail. Fly down there and check this thing out and see. I'm curious if I'm going to get a ton of prime with the obsidian pickaxe. I swear there was a carnal around here. And I kind of hope I'm wrong. Give me all the sweet, sweet prime goodness. I feel like, yeah, okay. 21, 23, 26, 30, 35, 37, 40. That's a lot of prime meat. So this definitely seems to be better at getting prime meat too. How long? I don't even remember what the bowl timers on this is. Not long enough. Not long enough. Oh boy. Where was that 145 bear? Oh, perfect. This is a 150 bear. There was a 145 right over there. Okay. So here's the problem, right? Like I already know things can get up here. So I'm just going to have to be like, uh, Let's try the recurve with taming arrows, maybe? Gosh, this is going to be a whole thing. Chris Kyle, sucker! Chris Kyle! Chris Kyle! Get a little bit closer. <laughs> maybe just a little bit closer here. Chris Kyle? Chris Kyle! That and, that and got him. Please do not be able to run up here. I feel like this thing will definitely one-shot me. I'm just going to randomly fire into the bushes. There's something else in the bushes with it, I feel like. Yeah, Dev, what's that? A Trudon? No, that's a Pego. What are the odds? There's a 150 right here, too. I might, if the if the uh, 145 is the opposite sex, I might just tame them both up. But what I want to do is get this dude down as quick as possible so I can throw this Prime on it. If not, then I got to go over there and kill that Daggum Paracer, too. What is he doing? He's trying to juke me out. 
He's running. He is running. Oh, no. All right. Come on, Dom. Uh, whatever you are. I almost called it a Dimorphodon. Tyranodon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's a quarter of my health. Ooh, ooh, come on, buddy. Let's rethink this just for a second. <laughs> Dang it. That was way too close for comfort. Where did he go? Bear? Ba bear? Where's the bear? Oh, there he is. Okay, he's underneath me. Um, okay. Get him right here, maybe? There we go. Please don't be able to come up here. <gasps> Please be stuck. Please be stuck. Please. Please be stuck. And please don't die, too. It would be fantastic. He's trying to bite me. He looks awfully bloody. This is going to make me real sad. Bears are tough without, like, trank darts and stuff. Is he out? No. I think he's definitely officially running now. Let's see. Uh, where did it go? Oh, there he is. Don't come at me. Okay. Go down. Go down. <gasps> oh! <laughs> okay. Okay. Are we friends or no? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, just go down. Please don't. Please don't die. Please do not die. Oh, he's so bloody. Look how bloody he is. I'm really so scared to hit him again. Chris Cow, please don't die. Gosh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know. Do I go up and hammer him in the face now? Because that does like very little damage. I don't understand. Gosh. Is he out? She out. Oh, finally. Oh my gosh, dude. All my prime is gone though. Dang it. Okay. That's all right. Cause what I can do now is go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and swap this out. Let's kill this paracer. Hopefully nothing will attack that dire bear. I don't think anything will. I'll get right here. Maybe this is high enough not to make the paracer super mad. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Things is coming together. Let's harvest all your sweet, sweet prime meat with this. And then let's throw it all on the dire bear. Oh, man. A 150 dire bear. I wasn't really expecting that. I would have taken anything like 90 and above. How much health does this dude even, lady, even have left? 178. Wow. I was trying to plug the stats in real quick so I could take a look at them and see where they just were distributed before tame. But um, let's look at the stats now. I guess I know you can't really use the Dodo decks at this point, but uh, we will. 2,800 health, 1,850 stamina, 16,000 food, 1,100 weight, man. That's uh, And then 266 melee damage. I'm going to plug this into the Dodo decks and just see where these points are distributed. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> this let me tell you something about this bear this bear this bear can eat a lot <laughs> this bear has very high points into food and don't worry also very high points into oxygen so i'm pretty excited about that <laughs> i guess the melee is oh uh, well it's average okay, everything's you know what it's a good starter bear that's what we're gonna start off and say fantastic starter bear i have everything i need for a saddle other than cementing paste however i'm pretty sure we can roll around here and uh just raid a beaver dam and get that real quick. But before we even do that, I want to see if we can find this 145 bear that was over here. So this one, where were you? I believe is a female. Are you a female? Guys, give me a name for our 224 female dire bear. Woo! 
Wasn't expecting it, but I'm excited about it. I think that other dire bear was up and around the corner here. The other, oh God, I'm going to land on that rock. <laughs> this is a really cool looking bear too. The other bear, we got back to the base. We got a saddle on it. Everything's good. This one's kind of like a skunk looking. It's like kind of skunky looking. Um, I wanted to land on this rock. That'd be fantastic. I have a bad feeling that it could probably just like walk on up here, but we're going to test that and I'm going to try the crossbow and see if I have any better luck, like not killing it or not getting it as close to being killed. Kale. <clears throat> Chris Cow as the uh, the other. Are you serious right now? Maybe a little higher. There we go. That's what's up. Bring it, sucker. Please don't be able to run up here. Please do not be able to run up. Please, please, please. Look how cool it looks, guys. <laughs> the, <laughs> this hits harder though. Oh no 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 no! Come on, come on them, come on them, come on. Come on, turn it down. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, God, I missed it. Oh, God, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, 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 oh. oh God, terror birds. All right. So now we've got two terror birds in a fight with the bear. God, look how, dude, he did a number on me. Oh, please. Oh, no. I can't afford for you to get any bloody here. Okay, as long as it eats the corpse, right? Eat the... You just heard what I said, man. Speaking of eating, my inventory is so just jacked up. Um. <laughs> hey, stupid bear. God, God, God. What did... No! What are you doing? Why do you hate me? Oh. We're all right. Now what I'm going to do is hop off, not off the rock. No, no. <laughs> hop off, not off the rock. No. Why is this not working? Let's, uh, where can I get? Let's go this way away from terror birds, please. All right. We're just going to do the old back and forth skis. Hey, uh, could you fight that terror bird, please? Uh oh. Oh! God! Bear? <laughs> Bear? Hey there, man. Dude. Oh my god, it's my stupid. Listen here, man. No, no! Oh god. Yeah! Why are you flying away from me? What? I almost killed myself trying to. J my plan was I was gonna jump and, and catch the bird midair. That was my plan. And then everything would look, I'd look like a freaking beast. And then uh, everything would be corrected, right? No! God bless. <laughs> All righty. Well, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> now I'm just planning on revenge. Forget taming that thing. It's a 145. You think I'm gonna waste the genetics of this magnificent one, <clears throat> of this magnificent 150? on a measly old 145 don't think so if i'm not gonna have jennifer aniston floors then i ain't gonna have a 145 breeding dire bear with my 150 it's not gonna happen but what i am gonna do is i'm gonna go back i'm gonna recover my body i'm gonna show that other dire bear who's boss i'm gonna hopefully not die to the bats that are up here and then uh we're gonna round out a magnificent episode uh, change of plans. I now have <laughs> I now have a sickness that will likely kill me in uh, just a few seconds. <laughs> the battle with the bats did not go as planned. Although we did defeat them, I now have the bat herpes and will die in approximately one second. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, you. <laughs> Look at you guarding my body, huh? You think I can't get my stuff back if I wanted it? thing oh kind of cool looking like what are you doing eat my body no as bad as i really want to tame you i don't want to tame you oh I'm slapping him up real good this thing wasn't even worthy not even worthy we'll find us a 150 not like i'm really in a position where i can do a lot of breeding right now anyways so we're just getting started let's take out the stuff but one thing that i did say i was going to do that i have yet to do was check out the battle act oh my god 
I'm just a man with a battle axe on a battle bear. I'm the battle bear battle axe champion. Check this out. Dang, am I really hitting for 124? That's not bad at all. I don't feel like, possibly. Maybe I should put my armor back on, though. Could be quite possibly a great idea. There we go. Oh, what's my... Yeah, and that. What am I do? <laughs> I've played Ark before. I challenge you, sir, to a battle... To a battle! A battle of wits and strength, sir! A battle of wits and strength for which I have challenged you to! Okay, hold on. Wit and strength! For I will become the superior of all ape species on this center island thing! No? You haven't had enough, huh? God bless. They caught him on this bear. <laughs> Hit like a freaking tank. Okay, 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 okay. All right, hold on. You're not being fair. You gotta let me hit. Me. There we go. <laughs> I have shown thee who is boss. Take from thee your flesh and skin and stuff. My God. Oh, what level is this? Who are you? Measly one. I mean, measly 20. Come here, Dire Bear, unnamed Dire Bear. Come to me and watch. Help! Help, help, help! Hey, come back with my mate, man! Come to me, Dire Bear, and watch how battle is done. How are you missing me? Oh my gosh, I'm such a beast. Oh my gosh, I'm such a beast. This is actually, I mean, and this is one of the pretty early game melee weapons on here. I feel like 124 is really not bad. Until I got this dire bear, like that was hitting higher, harder than any, I mean, of course, I guess I only had a raptor, right? What level are you? A battle of wits and strength. <laughs> Wits! D stay out of my business, Dire Bear! Ding, I had it! Wits! And strength! Ah! Come on, sucker! Ah. <laughs> if I can't beat a Diplo, then something's really wrong. Dang, this thing really does hit really hard. Look how quickly I just beasted a Diplo, which is, you know, they're high health creatures. Let alone, I mean, sure it's only level 15, but nobody's asking you. I'm kind of impressed with this. Strength! Uh, neutral. Strength! <laughs> and wits! Ah. Okay, cool. Look how easily I beasted that. Beasted that without any help from my, uh, Dire Bear friend, I'm gonna stand right here and pass out now. All right, guys, there we have it. So we had the recurve bow. We had this freaking awesome battle axe, which I can't wait to check out the one that's even a level above this. And we tamed a perfect Dire Bear. I'm pretty pumped about it. Plus we've getting where we've got some headway on our base build. Whew. Guys, let me know. I mean, I know that um, I like to get out here and like do some, you know, have some action, like tame some stuff. If you guys want to learn a thing or two about building and you just want to see a building episode, let me know. You know, let your boy know. <laughs> I'll see if I can teach you a thing or two about bi bi building the, I can't even say it, let alone. Building the haunt, the house on haunted, the haunted house on haunted hill house. I don't remember. Look it up on Netflix and watch it, dadgummit. You'll thank me later. Anyways, that's where we're going to call this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have not already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button. Let me know that you liked it. Leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you guys. And a Micro Raptor is going to eat my face. Hey, yeah.